What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Excel Online Business Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is Create Table. This action allows you to create a table in an Excel spreadsheet that you specify. So we can specify the table and specify the columns, and it's going to create that for you automatically through the flow. Let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow here because we just need to trigger this flow. And then we can click on New Step. Um, from here, we can choose the Excel Online Business Connector. We can scroll down until we get to Create Table. On the Create Table, we're going to be asked for a few pieces of information. First one being location. So this is the actual location or the document storage of your um, your Excel spreadsheet. So this could be your OneDrive for business, it could be your OneDrive, it could be a SharePoint site as well. In this instance, I'm going to choose OneDrive for business because that's where my spreadsheet is, but you could choose a spread, uh, an Excel, uh, a SharePoint site from this list here as well. Next, it's going to ask me for my document library. So again, if you have multiple document libraries inside your SharePoint, inside your SharePoint site, or site collection, you could um, pick, pick the specific document library. In this instance, I'm just using a, using a OneDrive for business, and therefore this top one will be fine. Again, not too sure why there's two, uh, but there is. So choosing that top one, and then I can choose the file. So I'm going to use the picker for this, and I'll click on the little picker icon there, and I'll go down to my Power Automate folder, and then I'm going to find my test Excel spreadsheet, which is this flow book here. Next it's going to ask me for my table range. Now the table range is the start cell for you to start your table from. So if you have a spreadsheet and you want to start your table, um, you know, usually most people start a table from uh, the cell A1, and you go from left to right, A1, B1, C1, D1, but you may have multiple tables inside your spreadsheet, so you may need to change these around a bit. So this is just basically referring to where you want the start of your table to be. And then it's going to go from left to right, um, adding another column header onto the same row as you're going along. So if I look at my example spreadsheet here, oops, that was what I was testing earlier. Um, just delete this. Uh, I, I have a table here, and then what I want to do is I want to start another table from down here. So I could put, say, A14, and it'll start in this column here, and then run across. So we'll choose A14. So in here, in table range, we'll put A14, and that's where the that's where the table is going to start from. Next, I need a table name. So what do I want to call this table? So we'll call it something like flow table. Then next, I can add column names. So these are the column headers that you're going to have inside your table. You can separate these either via a comma or a semicolon, depending um, on your preference, I guess. So in this instance, I'm going to call the, col uh, the column names, uh, we'll say first name, uh, last name, uh, location, job title, uh, no, job title, uh, age. So something similar to like the table I've already got in there, and what these will do is this will go through and create each one of these tables. So we will click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. We'll save and test. We will run the flow. Click done. The flow is going to start running, and then hopefully we should have a table created. So it looks all green. We we'll go down here. We'll see everything's um, everything saying it's true, it's good, you know, blah blah. blah. It's great. Um, and then we will look over to our spreadsheet. And there we go. We have a brand new table inserted into our spreadsheet. So we've got first name, last name, location, job title, age, and we can see this is the table because it's all blue with the blues and like that theme. Uh, and we can put data in here and you know it looks a lot like this table up here. So there it is, that's, that's the e really easy way to create a table via Power Automate. I mentioned in one of my previous videos about the uh, add key columns action, which allows you to add a new column to an existing table, and it could be a way for you to dynamically create a schema for your table.
this is the same thing. If you're taking CSV inputs from other other like sources and things like that, and you want to convert it into a proper Excel spreadsheet with a table format so you can read rows of data and do certain things with it, you could use something like this. You could pass in the uh, header row, uh, which may be comma separated or semicolon separated. And then you could automatically create the table from those from those outputs and then maybe you could read in your csv file um, and and write each each line to a table or a, uh, as an added row inside that table using the add to row action so there's loads of great uses for this but as always i want to know what you guys use this for let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video if you could like and share it with your friends that'd be much appreciated if you've not already hit that subscribe button and stay up to date on my latest videos i'll see you next time